So now that we have uh, converted all the data into useful formats, we are now going to add it into our uh, data model so that we can create relationships between the two different data and we can perform analytics. So these are the company objectives. They want to see how much, how many orders they raise. They want to see how much they spend on procurement. They want to compare their procurement spend versus budget. They want to see who suppliers are performing well. And they also want to see uh, indication of uh, uh, their average lead time. And they also want to, want to see how much they spend on uh, shipping. So these are the objectives of our analysis. And eventually, so this is the dashboard that we're going to uh, design. So right here, it shows uh, the total LPOs raised, the ones that are not delivered, the average LPO value. So these are additional information on what they need. Then there is the budget, there's the procurement spend. And below that, we have how much uh, of that is, uh, how much budget utilization they've made. Then they also have, uh, we also have a shipment cost summary. It also shows how much of that is, uh, how much of the total spend is shipping cost, which is 5%. And here we have some simple graphs and charts to show the spend by category, the procurement spend by month, the top five suppliers, the budget versus actual spend by category, the budget versus actual spend by month, and the uh, average supplier lead time. So this is just a simple dashboard. So in a new worksheet, uh, go ahead and uh, uh, open a new workbook. And the first thing we need to do is get data from uh, files. So go to data tab, get data from file. Uh, we're go first going to get from a text or CSV. So after you locate the data in your, in your workbook, just select uh, the data that you need. So we're going to start with the LPOs import. So once we load that into the Power Query, so Power Query det automatically detects the rows and headers. Remember, we converted the data into individual rows and headers. So we are going to first transform the data so that we can do some cleaning up and add additional columns. So we're going to just go through the columns, see whether they're in the correct format. So this is item description. So the format is uh, text, which is okay. This is a decimal uh, ordered qu quantity ordered, but since we don't have uh, quantity ordered in decimals, we cannot order half items. We're going to convert this into a whole number. So the date uh, here is date date time. So we're going to convert that into a date date time. And we're going to do the same to date date time here. And then the quantity supplied is a whole number. The supplied value is decimal number. The plan name is a text. Shipment cost is a text is a decimal number. Or currency, you can also use currency. Let's also do that for the supplied value. Currency. And then we are going to order status is open. Then we are going to add a column, which is the uh, the lead time so select the supply date then the order order date in that uh, in that order then we're going to add come to add column and uh, date time from the date time we have an easier way of subtracting days so that we can add the subtraction which we're going to call lead uh, time and then we're going to uh, push this over to the left here we need to add an additional column which is going to add the shipment cost and the supplied value and the supplied value to give us the total procurement cost and then we're going to insert a standard and add the two this is called the total, total cost so that gives us the total cost of supply which is the shipment uh, uh supplied value 650 and the shipment cost if there's any and with that we can now rename uh, it's renamed correctly and then click and load to so you can either load them into a table 
but since we already have the data externally we only want to create a connection and add it into a data model and click ok so next we are going to load the budget so get data from file from a workbook from the budget report and we just want the budget table uh, transform to make sure that all the columns have the right formatting so this budget this is a currency press current and we don't need it to be budget two we just need to be budget okay one the year these are texts is a number correct so just uh, click and load to and we want to roll this to the data model so then then we're going to load the item and uh, let's transform this data to make sure that everything looks okay just uh, a checker to make sure everything is perfect click and load to add to the data model only create a connection okay then next we are going to get the suppliers from a text file so this is the text file import and uh, this needs some transformation so so this one does not have uh column heads which we're going to type in manually so this is a supplier ID. but the good thing is that we only need to do this once everything else looks good so let's load this to the data model again okay so there we are we have uh, loaded uh, much of the information we need